Mmm. Cup of tea. Okay, folks, sorry, this is not going to be a lovely build video or anything like that. I'm just doing a bit of tidying here. And but what I am doing is a quick update, just telling you what's been going on. And some of you will know, some of you won't, but there is a reason for why I've been a bit quiet of late. Um, you can probably tell by this, how breathy I am. I have not been terribly well. In fact, I wasn't well when I was building that Cyberman head. I was really quite unwell. And when the chap and his father came to pick it up, I was pretty much, I don't want to say in agony, but I was uncomfortable. Anyway, after he left, uh, I went away and edited the video for the build video of that said Cyberman head, and then I was in absolute agony. And this went on for about oh, 10 days, and I was, let's put it this way, I was in so much pain I actually couldn't lay down, I had to stand up permanently. Um, I did go to the doctors, and at the beginning they couldn't tell what was up. Uh, I was in a race to hospital at one point because my oxygen levels were dangerously low, and I was sent on my merry way home. Uh, came back the next day for some tests, and it seemed to come back as, well, there might be something, but we're not sure what. Well, a few days after that, I felt so unwell, that for the first time ever, I started talking about all this stuff in this conservatory and saying, oh, you know, that prop there, that can go to this person and that prop there can go to there and there's a certain wooden prop that needs to be destroyed. And I pretty much thought I was dying. So I went to the doctors and they immediately called me an ambulance and I refused the ambulance. I thought I can go there under my own steam. It's quicker. I have my car with me right there. So I went to the hospital again and I was pretty much blacking out, or wanting to black out, every couple of seconds. They immediately put me on oxygen, they immediately ran various tests, and... Well, let's just put it this way. Coughing up blood. Uh, nearly choking to death. Potential... well, not potential, I was on the verge of organ failure. And had I left it a little bit longer, maybe even by a day, they said, I probably wouldn't be here talking to you now. So, I kind of sound okay, but I don't want to go into all the ins and outs of it. I really don't need the attention. I certainly don't want your sympathy or anything like that. This is not an attention-seeking uh, message. This is just to tell you that I've got to take it easy. Apparently, it's going to take up to six months for me to get better. That's if I get better. I'm sure I will. I'm feeling somewhat better. I mean, had you heard me just after I came out of the hospital, you would have thought I was basically death warmed up. Anyway. Ugh. Enough of all that. Uh, let's talk some channel stuff, so we'll nip into the other room once I've tidied all this up. Well, here we are, my main page on the YouTube channel here. Still at 15 videos. However, there's been a bit of a jump, and one that I kind of missed during all the hoo-ha that was going on back in August. Um, we've jumped up to... 662 subscribers, which I'm absolutely staggered about, and apparently by around Christmas I'm going to hit 1,000, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm actually ecstatic and over the moon that I've got 662, so thanks to all of you out there. Um, I really do appreciate you sticking with me. Um, so anyway, you know why I've been quiet recently, but there's another little issue that's come up, and that, uh, well, that's to do with people commenting. I haven't been getting the comment notifications at all. I don't get them whatsoever. The only way that I can tell that you've been commenting is by either clicking through each of the different videos and going through, or um, going into the discussion and then cycling through. So if you comment, say today, I can see it. But if you comment on something that you commented on before in a video from, say, six months ago, the chance of me finding it is pretty small. So. If I miss some of your comments, I do apologise, but that's the reason. Um, just a couple of days ago, I discovered... I've been thinking, why is it so quiet recently? Turns out that it's uh, because of this new system. I don't know what's going on, everything's been checked, so I'm supposedly getting all of the notifications, but I'm just not receiving them. So anyway, I went through about three weeks to four weeks worth of comments going back. It took me about 10-15 minutes 
talking to about 40 or 50 people. So anyway, if, if, if you've commented or written me a note or anything like that and I haven't responded, I apologise now for it. And if I miss your comment in the future, again, apologies. It's just I am not being notified at this point in time. Anyway, uh, to be honest, I'm still not feeling the greatest, so I'm going to leave it here. But, you know, the next few videos, they're not going to be huge projects. They're going to be much smaller scale because I just have not got the energy to, to do it. I mean, to be honest, even walking up and down stairs knackers me out. I mean, at the very beginning, just writing emails and typing knackered me out. And you can probably hear it in my voice. I am not up to spec at the minute. But, as I said before... Don't require sympathy, I'm not asking for it. Just giving you the state of play so you know what's going on. Anyway, for now, I'm going to shoot off and uh, take it easy a bit, but I do have a couple of smaller projects that, I, that I've got planned. They're not going to be Doctor Who, and I don't really want to keep on doing Doctor Who stuff. I mean, Doctor Who stuff is great, but I don't want to be seen as a one-trick pony. I would like to do other things. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll leave it there. Sorry this isn't a particularly brilliant... Uh, update, but I didn't like the fact I was doing radio silence, so now you know what's going on. Okay then, well, as always, thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll speak to you again soon.